Hi everyone. Today we are going to see a flow scenario. So the scenario is when a case has been created and it has been assigned to a person, even after 24 hours, if the case remains still in the new status, then I need to escalate the case and I need to send out an email to the case owner regarding the case has been escalated. So I, I have created a flow to automate this process. So it's a smaller flow only. So I have used a record triggered flow. So I'll explain in detail. So as we already mentioned, when a case has been created, I need to check after 24 hours from the case creation date. So I for this, I have used a record triggered flow in that specifically I've used scheduled paths. So in record triggered flow, since we mentioned case object, so I have select case and when a case has been created. So during the case creation, this record triggered flow needs to run. So I don't have any specific conditions since it's a sample flow. If you have any conditions, you can add it. So coming to the scheduled paths. So scheduled paths is a spring 21 release feature which has been included in the flows. So the purpose of a scheduled path is, so when a flow has been created, after a specific time it needs to run, during that scenario we need to go for scheduled path. It's similar to previous to flows we are having workflow, uh, time-based workflows we are having, the same concept here. So here what I have done is, uh, I have created, used created date, to run the flow after 24 hours from the creation date. So basically the scheduled paths run based on a time field. So the time shows should be a date field or time field. So here I used a case created date. So the offset number is like a, a specific year number from which like five hours or five minutes after the case created date or 10 minutes after the case modified date like that. So here I mentioned 24 hours after case created date. So this is the initial configuration which I had done in the start element itself. So now what happens? So when I create a case, so how it will works. So I'll show. So now I'm going in to a case, select the contact, case origin, and I'll put my subject, laptop issue. And save. So now I've created a case. So how to confirm whether the record trigger flow has been triggered and a schedule has been done. So for that, we need to go for time-based flows. So in order to monitor the schedule parts is working fine or to verify whether the records are got scheduled correctly, we can go for time-based workflows. So here I can go for object case since I have created on case object so here you can see so now 1032 I have created a case after 24 hours it's like 19 6 1032 next day the scheduled date it has been mentioned and the created date who created and what is the automation type flow schedule path and which object what is the flow name and for which record it has been placed. So all those informations will be available here. So in order, in some case, I don't want the scheduled path to run. What in that scenario, we can delete the scheduled paths. You can select and you can click on delete, the scheduled paths will be removed. So after 24 hours, what happens? It will get into this path and it will go for check status. So after 24 hours, it will take that specific record, this record. 
so it will go and it will check the status of the record so if the status has been changed to something else in case if instead of new if it has been changed to in progress or any other thing it will go for a default outcome the decision will be default outcome and the flow will be ended if even after 24 hours if the status still remains in new then it will go for updating the status to escalated and it will get the owner information and it will send out an email to the case owner so this is how a schedule path flow works so coming to the feature release and uh, test one limitation so basically whenever we are implementing we need to consider the limitations so this run part of schedule triggered flow after the triggering events spring 21 release it has been included so coming to the point so the maximum schedule path interviews for 24 hours so since we are having a n number of cases created in a day we will have out what is the limit so how many records get the schedule flow will create in the schedule path how many records can it store so the maximum schedule path interviews for 24 hours is 2 lakh 50 thousand so so interview is nothing but one interview is created for each executed schedule path so for example this is called one interview so one schedule path is called one interview so basically we can create 2 lakh 50 thousand per 24 hours if the license is more for example this is a default limit if you are having more license for example i have a 5000 user licenses then 5000 into 200 it will be around uh, 10 lakh so that will be considered so the greater if the license is uh, greater so that will be considered as a limit or else this will be the default limit so another one thing they mentioned is a path run runs immediately so we are here itself we are having two options one is called run immediately another one is the schedule paths so the run immediately won't be considered for this schedule interviews so even if in this flow itself we have a separate run immediately like when a case has been created it should be assigned to a specific queue has been done in the run immediately it won't be considered only this schedule paths will be considered for the interview count so that's one thing so uh, another one thing so that's for that's it for scenario so i have created a new youtube channel so that's a uh, name is salesforce tamilan so all those videos which i started creating i like to store it in a place so i have created this channel so if you have got time if you want to review it the previous videos you can uh, click on the link i'll pro share my youtube channel link so you can click and you can view those videos which i have all pre previously shared so that's it Thank you. Bye.